What are you doing? Oh, hey. Oh, There's about 30 banana stickers still underneath the dash. You got five or six and I put them there. You seem taller. No, I haven't grown. Maybe I'm shrinking. <laughs> Man, he loved this piece of junk so much. Took so many camping trips in this thing that it would have been nice to take one more. Look. I did that too. I'll tell. You know I kept the tags current. If you'd like to take it out later. Really? It's been a hard day. You two probably want to do something a little more fun. You really should come. I can't. Why not? It won't be the same. Well, that doesn't mean it won't be fun. I don't feel very fun right now. I'm tired. Fine. I'm telling you, I know that this was a cartoon. Something like the 80s. Oh, was it on again? Saturday mornings. I used to watch it all the time. Did it did it have like different animals where they're not just like regular animals like but it was like two animals in one? Yes. Right. They put them together and Okay, were they were they made that way or this this or did they do something and they combined themselves? I don't you know are if going way a outside specific the story line. It just kind of exists. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is gonna kill me. You're gonna die a silent, sad, lonely man. <laughs> you're, you're gonna walk out of this bar without ever knowing you can die. Holy shit. How's it going? Sit it down. Baby. Take a seat, come on. Uh, Frank, this is Ollie. Ollie, this is Frank. How you doing, boy? The uh, three of us went to school together. Until Ollie left us for the City. I'm Melissa. He remembers me. It's kind of dead in here. It's Wednesday. It doesn't feel like a lot of shit. Gotcha. So how are you? Thirsty. Oh, come on, guys. I don't want to be a buzzkill here. You know, I just I need to get fucked up, forget about this whole thing, wash a funeral off me. You know what? Yeah, okay. I'll be right back. So what are we talking about? Okay, so we were trying to figure out... Do you remember that cartoon where they were like, they made one animal out of like one half of one animal and half another? The Wuzzles. Fuck, oh, the Wuzzles! <laughs> They're there, Frank. Dan! Yeah! It was the Wuzzles! Oh shit! Our cook! No, I hated that cartoon because it never had anything cool like centaur, griffin. It was always it was always something gay, like a lion and a bumblebee or whatever. What about Scowl? The Wuzzle with the power of both the skunk and an owl. Huh. It's not gay. Mm. Why don't you shut up, Melissa? Heads up! Come on. Alright, this. Move it. This. This is for Ollie's dad. The secret video collection introduced me to all kinds of wonderment of bestiality. <laughs> to Ollie's dad, who never leered at me like Dan's dad, even when I wore my lowest cut shirts. To Ollie's dad, uh, I wish I'd met him. To my dad. Get to you every time. Oh. This is our fifth one. You just came into a party, my friend.
Where is Pac-Man exactly? Is he at home? What's with this little lair? No, no, what he is, he's like somebody. He's at home with his wife and baby in with Pac-Land. A, with a, with a, with a, with a look, look, look at that, look at it. It's a little box with yeah. a little ghost. It's a maze. And he's, no, no, he's not, a, why is he there? It's two-dimensional. He's a Tomb Raider. He, 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 he's an observer. He's a Tomb Raider? He's going in there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you working these days? Oh, Grill. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. These backpackers tipped me a pot the other oh, day. shit. Wow. Jesus Christ, this is like a $20 tip. I know, right? Saw your sister a couple months ago. Uh, she came out with this guy. I don't know, I barely recognized her. I asked her how you were doing. She said she didn't know. How was she? She didn't seem like she was having much fun. He was, though. Good for him. Yeah. How's your music going? <laughs> yeah, um, I used to bring up my sister, then, yeah, um, you know, it seems like the more I write, the farther I'm getting from what I'm trying to say, you know? I keep getting this feeling that I'm avoiding starting a real life by, you know, pursuing my dream and what I think I'm good at and all that crap. After college, I moved to Chicago, I got this internship, I was really fucking lucky. After one month of interning, they offered me a permanent position at this publishing company. And it was just everything I ever wanted, a dream job, I mean, my education, my ambitions, everything I worked for, it was the pinnacle of all that. But you're back here now. Yeah. After like two months, I just couldn't stand it anymore. It made my skin crawl. I just, I don't know. Some people work so hard for what they want, and I just got it like that. And it's not like I take it for granted, but I have no idea where to go from here now. In conclusion, totally lost, but. I'm happy. <laughs> you end all your points. <laughs> oh, got it. Mm. Oh, go. No, I have something for you. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. What? What'd nothing, you expect? Nothing, nothing, nothing.